What's going on, folks? So I thought I'd make this video to help those people pass AZ400. And, you know, a lot of my peers, colleagues, you know, other people who watch my videos saying, look, how will you pass AZ400 today? So it's just like, dude, what's change? You know, well, what's going on in the market? And let's see, let's see where you're talking about. And it's significantly changed. Let me tell you, I think I did AZ400. I did AZ400 in August 2020. And the exam was tough then. So I needed to know how to do, you know, a pipeline as code, you know, using, um, basically using the, the CLI that was in there. What else? There's, there's so many different things that, you know, Kubernetes, PowerShell, I needed to know pipeline, I needed to know like uh, gatekeepers, but this is a different beast, you know, this is not an easy exam. And you're going to really need to knuckle down to be able to, to do this. Let's talk about wh wh which materials I go for. Okay. So I just basically go to Google or anything like that, any search engine, punch in AZF400. AZ Sorry, I did my AZF500 exam just recently. So I'm getting tongue tied with that. But it's AZ400 and is designed to implement Microsoft DevOps solutions. I'll put the link in the description of the video for you. And the cost is 165, depending on where you are in the world. If you're in the UK, one, 113. It's definitely worth paying for this because you get something to measure your skills against, right? But it's changed here. You know, the skills measured, like SRE was not in my time. You know, that's different. Uh, security and compliance, I don't remember that either. Managed source control, didn't see that either. Uh, define and implement continuous integration, definitely saw that. Continuous delivery release management strategy, saw that. Um, what else? De develop instrument strategy. There's, there's a lot of strategy here, but it's really good to, to pay attention to this, the skills measured and what's actually in here. And there's 12 friggin' pages of you to just go through and see what's, what is here. The exam guide below shows the changes that were implemented. Okay, so up here is what was there before, and now here's what's changed. Design the log aggregation and query. So container, is there AD, B2B, business to business, service now, and project and management, okay. So, yeah, it's there. So YAML, YAML templates. Wait, hang on for a second. This must be updated twice because there's a lot more in this that wasn't there before. Before it was just like three or four pages. Now it's a lot more. So maybe this is the second update from when I did it in 2020 because I do remember my friend Ben, he was going to do this course, this exam, and he made sure that he actually sat the exam before it changed back in 2020. So this is probably the second update since then. Yeah, it must be. Look, March 23. I'm making this video in April. So yeah, this is definitely an update. This is monster, of course, of a of a exam for you to take. Now, I don't say that to scare you. I did that so that you can actually take this a lot serious because the amount of informa information that you need to be able to obtain for this, you're gonna to need to really sit down and buckle down and get it done. You can get a free subscription for Azure DevOps for your personal self. Just register it in your um, <clears throat> in your personal email address and just go through the options and go through the sequences. It is free. It's not, you don't need credit card details to be able to do this. Just try to look and see what it is. The YAML file or pipeline, that's what I was trying to remember. It was, um, you know, pipelines code using YAML, you know, see what that really looks like. There's a wizard for you to, to be able to pull all that information as well. And it's really good that you can actually go through this and see how to apply this. So the exam has changed and you got to take it serious. It's not just 
about retaining the information now. It's just, just you know, there's a lot more incorporated with user DevOps. If I look at Wiz Labs, which I do recommend for all, and it's not a brain dump, I gotta keep reminding people that, the whole point of Wiz Labs is so that you can actually go through the course, or should I say the test material, and where you get things wrong, Wiz Labs will tell you what you've got wrong and why. So if I go to the free test, which anybody can actually sign up, I'm not gonna to go to the practice test here, but as you can see, although I did my exam and I did use Wiz Labs, is updated, you know, every single thing that's in here um, is showing that I haven't touched it. And this is different too, this section test. So, wow, there's a whole lot more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. 12, well, minus one, so 11 really. Remove the free test, because that's just a duplicate of everything that's in here. But, my gosh. So you got the practice test, and then you got actually section tests. So you're more focused on management, source control, facility communication, collaboration, development instrument strategy. So for sure, Wiz Labs, this is, this is what's gonna help you. Oops, can't do that one. Do this one, free test, start exam. Start in quiz practice mode because basically that will give you the answers to the questions you may get wrong. And let's just go, team currently makes use of Docker containers. Oh, so it is talking about Docker containers in the exam. So you're gonna need to know that can be used, the exploits must be detected as early in, on the life cycle as possible. Which of the following would you configure as part of the life cycle? Well, which one would you configure? We control, configure A, ensure a scheduled task runs against a production container and continuous deployment pipeline. Schedule a task that runs against a staging container and continuous deployment. Ensure a schedule task runs against the image registry to analyze the images. Run manual, I don't know. Schedule tasks, let's see what happens. C, ensure a schedule task runs against the image registry to analyze the images. Okay. <clears throat> I got a brush up on my Docker, but hey ho. It always good to have an ongoing process to analyze. So it tells you here, it tells you, you know, um, why, you know, and it also gives you a link to a Microsoft website for the documentation to to back up what why they're actually saying that answer is correct. Now, would you actually find this in the actual exam? Not really. I don't think you would. I didn't see any of these things. As I said, it's not brain dump. You know, this is to actually ensure that you know the topics that you're supposed to be studying for on the syllabus. And this is how it'll pass the exam. So to pass the exam, and you know, you you're probably looking at a little bit, probably hands-on experience. I would say you want about six to twelve months um, for the looks of things, and really knuckle down. I would. Let me just go back here to here. I would use this way of doing it. I would go and get the free online training. And as you can see, everything that I've actually done, these were all 100%. And it's now dropped to like 27, 23, 36. I need to brush up on stuff. But let's, let's see, yeah. There's no way that that's just a, a slight update. That's a significant update of this exam. All this is new. And this is where I will go, see? So I've gone through everything. This is the only one that's not really changed. Go through this free material, it'll track all your changes. It will keep you aligned with the syllabus. You won't get distracted. And the good thing about some of this modules is just that from memory I can remember, but I did some, yeah. I did some actual hands-on. There's some labs in here that you could do. You could run a template. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. So get the user project, run the template, sign in. 
yeah, you get some hands-on experience through this as well. So for sure, those are the three things I would do, folks, to be able to pass this exam. One is get yourself a free version or free subscription, whatever you want to call it, to Zer DevOps. You know, just type it in, punch it in, get a free one, play around, see how that actually works. The second thing is, is that I will go through this syllabus, this free version or free online training that you can actually do for Microsoft. And it's really good content. And it feels unbiased these days. You know, they do talk about other products as well, like Jenkins. Um, I don't see anything about the infrastructure as code, the Terraform, but I do see other things like, you know, it desires to hit configuration, if you use Chef, Puppet, all that stuff. It will also challenge you to say, you know, how will you do this for a Linux VM, you know? And yeah, it, it's really good. This is definitely new. This is exciting. Develop a site reliability engineering strategy. Well, I didn't do SRE in the past, so they may have rebranded that or rechanged the topic headline to this. Yeah, so look, see, introduction to the SRE. I didn't do it, it's not green. These are green, improve incident response with alert and observe, web capture, but manage SRE. This is all new stuff, all new stuff, more to learn, more to learn. <laughs> get cracking. Yeah. So where was I? Three things. One is get your free stuff, get your free version of Azure DevOps. Just Google it, freaking get onto it. Can't go wrong. That's one. Two is come here and do your, your AZ 400 and get the free online training material and you'd be for sure be aligned with the syllabus. And then thirdly, when you're in mid flow, meaning when you get to like here, learning the path of development strategy and compliance, you know, set aside at least 45 minutes a day to try to do some practice test exams, get yourself Wiz Labs. Um, Wiz Labs has a, an offer majority of the time. I should, maybe I should gray that out. If you're actually watching this, you punch that in, you might be able to get 15% off but it's definitely worth a subscription, which is I think 99 pounds a year. And, you know, you get a whole lot more training material for it, you know? So like these individual um, practice test questions on online courses probably cost you like 30, 40 US dollars a pop where you can just get an annual subscription of 99 pounds you get everything underneath that. It'll just be far more, it'll, it'll make far more sense. So there you go. If you want to know how to pass the AZ 400, those are my three recommendations. You need to buckle down. It's a big monster of an exam now. And yeah, good luck. You know, I'm probably gonna need to update my skills as well. I'll let you know how that goes. Cheers now.